Oscar? Yes, ma'am. Has anyone called? No one at all. Has the maid returned yet? No, she won't get here until 8 tonight. Take my car to the mechanic. Have them check the brakes and the steering. Better wait for them to finish. I'll do that right away. Gertie, you're completely wrong. Let me explain. You can explain when we get there. Let's go. Titi's hiding. Gerda. Gerda. It was all because of that stupid cat of yours. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Gerda, please wait. You're mistaken. I'm not mistaken at all. I had strict orders to take you to the others. Titi. Titi. Titi, where are you hiding? Please, give me just two days. You can't deny me that. I beg of you. Wait a minute, Gerda. Please Titi. wait. Please. Listen to me a second, Gerda. How could you live with that revolting animal? Now I can't find Titi anywhere. Gerda. Maybe she's in the garage. You know, she just loves cars. Where are you? We're in a hurry. That old cat won't bother you anymore. I killed him. Look, here she is. Uh. Poor Titi. She's all upset. Calm down, my little one. We're going now. Carla's going to take us in her beautiful car. How could that cat frighten you? Calm down. We're leaving right away. You know what, Carla? Titi loves the smell of gasoline. Isn't that marvelous?
Carla, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you. How did you get in? I still have a key. No, that's impossible. I didn't know myself that I'd be coming back today. Well, I wanted to see you, and I kind of guessed you'd be coming back. Are you that surprised to see me? You don't love me any longer? Don't be ridiculous, Carla. Tell me why you come here. Because I love you, that's why. You know you're, you're forcing me to be disagreeable. It's just that you haven't gotten over the surprise of seeing me. You can't be serious. I've never been more serious in my life. Another woman? Don't be silly. You know perfectly well we can't live together. Have you forgotten? Mario, listen to me. I... Come on, Carla. Let's forget about it. End of conversation. Sit down, would you please? I guess it was a mistake to come by without calling first. I wanted to surprise you, darling. Mario, two plane tickets for Brazil. I knew you were going to take a vacation, and I thought we might spend it together, you and I. I need you now, more than ever. Kramer Publishing, this is Mario Valdor calling. Give me the head of photography. Is that you, Dan? Doing okay. Just now, I have something important to tell you. I don't want a vacation. No, your hearing's not going bad. Give me any assignment you want. No, I'm not drunk. You want me to do what? Am I hearing you right? All right. I'll do whatever you say. I'll leave tomorrow. So long. You'll be sorry for that, you hear? You shouldn't be so melodramatic. I'll see you to the door. Don't bother. I know my way out. Nice place. A lot of privacy, too. I thought the same thing, but I say I was mistaken. Can I stay a while? You take a picture of me? Mm hmm. Several. What was the object? I just like beauty. You see, I'm an artist. I'm sorry if I bothered you. I don't mind. Photograph me as much as you wish. But give the negatives to me. You shall have them. 
And as punishment for my impertinence, I'll invite you to lunch. All right. It's not a bad idea. What are we waiting for? Excuse my asking, but are you from around here? No, I came to work here. What do you do? I'm a writer. Very interesting. Have you been here very long? Almost three months. Do you know where the mountain is? No. I have an assignment up around the lakes. Would you like to come with me? Thanks, but I can't. Are you married? <laughs> no. And you? Not yet, I'm not. Hey, uh, bring the check, will you please? Certainly. Sorry you can't come with me. I'd like to have made the trip with you. What time is it? It's 4.30. Could you take me home, please? Well, sure, of course. I live two miles from you. Do you live alone? Yes. Don't you get bored? <laughs> no, to the contrary. Possible to see you again when I come back? Yes, sometime. That's my house there. I decided to go with you to the mountains. Wait a minute. Sure.
kind of music was that? What music? Didn't you hear that song? What song? I've never heard anything like it in my life. It was very loud. And for a moment there, I thought I had all those voices in my head. <laughs> you must have been dreaming. can't understand about that music. You're still thinking about that? What are you trying to do, frighten me? Well, you're just trying to kid me. Me? I suppose you have loudspeakers outside the house. You put a record on, and then you turn up the volume. <laughs> what an imagination you have. The music stopped when you came out. <laughs> Go on and laugh. I found you out. <laughs> Still thinking about your music? Now well, let's forget about it. Uh, I think this is the end they told me about. What do you say we take a look? I hope this is it. I'm hungry and sleepy. Shall we go in? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What can I do for you? Do you have rooms? How many do you want? All right. Would you like something to eat? There's soup, bread, and bacon, and eggs. Anything's all right with me. How's that? She said anything will be all right. Give us whatever you have to eat. Oh, all right. I'll give you a little bit of everything I have. Since I have a lot to talk to him about, I'll wind up with laryngitis. <laughs> Why did you look at me when you asked for the room? What would you have said if I'd only asked for one room? What do you think I would have said? Your dinner will be ready in a minute. I fixed soup, and bacon and eggs, and venison. I think that's great. Will it be long? Right away. I'm sure it'll all be wonderful. How can you say that if you haven't tried it yet? Shall we bring the luggage in? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something. What's that? What made you decide so suddenly to come with me? I felt kind of bored. Only for that. There's another reason. You seem like an interesting person. No, I don't seem like. I am. <laughs> So do we. Mm-hmm. Right.
Here's your room. See you in the morning. Delia, well, what time do you want to get up in the morning? Whenever you say it's all right with me. Well, when I wake up, I'll knock on your door. Get a good night's sleep. See you in the morning. What are you frightened about? It's only me. I forgot to tell you, we turn the electricity off now. I brought a candle for you. Delia! What's wrong? Why did you scream? What happened? Who turned the lights out? What did you say? Who turned the lights out? I know that. It happens every night. It's the main station that connects with the mine. They're back on. They'll go back off again in a very few minutes. Don't worry, Delia. It was just a short circuit. There was someone in my window. He was looking at me. In your window? Her face was there on a level the same as mine. If you don't mind, I'll go to, uh, to bed now. Do you have a ladder? A ladder? What for? Somebody in the window frightened the young lady. And to get up to her window, they had to use a ladder. I don't think you're right. Then how did they get to the young lady's window? Easy. Because her window was only five feet from the ground. The back of the house is against the mountainside. Is it all right? If I go to bed now? I'm too frightened to sleep alone. Can we spend the night down below in the bar? If you like. By the fire, you can stay warm, can't you? Yes, thanks. That's if it's all right with you. Sure, why not? Forgive me. I didn't want to be a nuisance. Don't talk nonsense. You're an excellent traveling companion. Go on now. Get some rest. We have work tomorrow. Try to get some sleep.
Delia. 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 Pardon me. Are you, are you leaving? Ha, have you seen the young lady? The young lady? Where is she? You two are the strangest pair I've ever seen. Would you tell me what's wrong now? The young lady has disappeared. Don't worry about that. She just went out for a walk and looking around the countryside, that's all. You and your girlfriend are a strange pair. What happened? I don't 
even know. You don't know? I woke up in the middle of the forest. Why did you leave the inn alone? I just don't know. Maybe you're a sleepwalker. I felt like someone was following me. You can tell me all about it in the jeep. Something hot will be good for you, don't you think? Thank you. Are you <laughs> sure you don't want to rest before we leave? No. I feel much better now. Thank you. After we've had some breakfast, we'd better take off. I'll go up for my baggage. Right. Fix us a lunch to take with us, would you? Would you talk louder? Fix us a lunch to take with us. We're leaving. Would you mind answering me a question? Of course not. Are you? Are you going very far? Mm -hmm. To the lakes. Is the young lady going with you? Mm -hmm. mm, the mountain is very, very difficult. You must take care and... And be awful careful for the young lady. Don't worry about it. We're only going to go as far as our car will take us. Don't forget that I warn you. Thanks all the same. You know what the innkeeper told me? He told me that you shouldn't come with me. And what do you think? Maybe he was right. Maybe it would be better, better if I took you home. He said it might be dangerous for you. Don't you worry about me. This trip interests me. I have no intention of backing out now. Mario. Did you see that? I've never seen such shy people in my life. Hurry, will you? Those animals horrify me. I think I'll climb this hill. You're too tired. You can stay in the Jeep and rest. I wouldn't think of it. I didn't make this long trip to continue sitting in the Jeep. Or did I? You ready to climb? Of course. All Mario, 
Bill. Someone's driving the Jeep away. You'd stay in the Jeep like I asked. And if you hadn't left the keys inside. Excuse me, Delia. That was a stupid thing for me to say to you. Forget it. What do we do now? I don't know. I suppose we'll have to start walking. <laughs> of course, we could always hitch a ride, huh? There's a shepherd. Maybe he saw someone. Good afternoon. Did you happen to see a, a jeep pass by here a little while ago? Uh, which way did it go? Do you remember? to the shepherd and his goats. What do I care? The only thing I care about is my Jeep. We should have asked him where this trail goes. What's the difference? We have no other alternative than to go where it goes. It looks as though they didn't take a thing. Are in the ignition. Who do you suppose drove it here? This little village looks abandoned. I'll find out right now. You stay here. Mm -mm, wouldn't think of it. I'm going where you go. You're the boss. Let's go. Not as abandoned as we thought. What can I do for you? Good afternoon. Could you tell me who drove that car here? Didn't you two drive it? Someone stole it from us several hours ago. We just found it here. Well, I wouldn't know. Would you know if it was someone here in the village? There isn't anybody else I live here alone. Alone? Yes, young lady. The old folks have been dying and the young people have been going to the city. Would you like to stay overnight here? Yes, all right. Do you happen to know of some place we could stay the night? If you're not too proud, you can spend the night in my house. The spare bedroom hasn't been used in a long time. Thank you, ma'am. We'll spend the night. Won't you come in? <laughs> I'll go down and get our luggage for us. Come in, miss. 
and make yourself at home. You have a very pretty house. Oh, you're just being kind, young lady. It's poor and old. Poor and old like its own. <laughs> no, really, I like it. Please sit down, miss. You look awfully tired. Get out of here. Get to your place. Go. If you'll excuse me, I'll finish what I was doing. <clears throat> After I'll fix this some coffee. No, don't worry about me. What are you making? Just some home remedies. The doctors don't get up this far. These recipes are centuries old and have been around for generations. And do they give results? Like nothing else. Why are you preparing so much if there's no one else in the village? Can't you see what a wreck I am? Well, you seem to be in very good shape. Well, the truth is, I make my living from it. There are some shepherds who ask me for my medicines from time to time. Besides that, I... Excuse me, I must have knocked something over when I came oh, in. Oh, don't worry about that, my boy. I still can't figure it out. Who stole the Jeep? And why did they steal it? There's absolutely nothing missing. Maybe the thief didn't know we would find it. He may come back later to take it away. This time, I locked everything. I even took the distributor cap. <laughs> oh, ma'am, where can I put my things? Ah, leave it in here. Well, you're going to sleep. Thank you. Is your husband a photographer? Yes. Few travelers pass through the village. Only hunters, normally. And less of them come through now. I'm going to have to thank the thief who brought us here. This place is incredible. I'm going to take advantage of the remaining light outside. Would you like to come with me? No, I think I've worked enough for today. I think I'm getting an inspiration just now. What do you say to that? Don't go too far from the village, my boy. And when the fog comes up, get back to the house immediately. You might get lost. Don't you worry about me. I'm a good mountaineer. I'll see you later. Don't be too long.
It's getting a little late. Where do you suppose Mario is? It's not dark yet. Your husband will get here. Go ahead, writing. I never once heard that little noise. It's getting awfully late. Something must have happened. I told your husband it was easy to get lost in these mountains, didn't I? Do you think he's lost? Oh, I'm sure of it. He doesn't know his way. And with this fog, you can't take one step in the clear. Where are you going? I don't know. We must do something. He could have fallen and hurt himself. And you, if you go out now. Don't worry about your husband. He said he was used to the mountains. He's probably taking shelter in a cave, waiting for dawn. Have dinner and go to bed. He'll return. We ought to go look for him. No, even me, who was born here, knowing step by step of this mountain, wouldn't think of taking a step outside in this fog. Don't worry. Your husband will return, I'm sure of it. He's not my husband. Would you believe I knew it? How did you know? Because I'm very old. You have to stop worrying. And eat. I'm not hungry. Have a little hot milk. It will make you feel good. Go on. Get out of there. Go on. Go away. Go on. young lady. You're awfully nervous. You must have had a nightmare just then. What time is it? Just before dawn. 
You must be patient. He'll come back before daylight. But you, you should eat something. <laughs> then sleep a little more now. It'll make you feel a lot better if you do. I put a little something in your cup so that you would sleep better. Coming, young lady. He's coming. What happened to you? I'm so glad it doesn't seem to be serious. I fell and then I got lost in the fog. Then I slept a little while. Give me a little cognac, would you? It's in there in my suitcase. You were lucky, young man. You could have broken your neck if you'd fallen off a cliff. I'll heat some water to wash that off. Thank you. Here. Worrying about me being hurt on the mountain. And now it's you that's the victim. I saw something that I'll never forget as long as I live, Delia. What did you see? A very strange procession of women dressed in mourning. Some of them didn't seem to have any faces. The witches. How can you believe in those stupid things? It was nothing more than a funeral. It was a lot more than that. But did you see it before or after you fell? Before. You don't think it could have been an hallucination? That's what I thought. But anyway, it'll be in the photographs I took last night. I shot two reels of the procession. Your bed is ready for you. Thank you, ma'am. I'm not going to bed until I've developed these photographs. We'll soon know what's going on. This never lies. What do you think about the procession? I don't know. I certainly don't believe in the old lady's witches' stories. Do you believe that everything has a logical explanation? Of course I do, don't you? Some things don't happen to have an explanation. Only on the surface. Everything has a logical explanation when you discover its cause. How much longer? It's ready. Something strange? Tell me what you see. I have to make some copies. There's something there, isn't there? I have to amplify them. Let's get back to the old lady's house. How are they coming? They're almost ready now. You can come in. Where are they? Nothing came out of the procession. However, something much better came out. 
Maybe I should say stranger. I develop both roles. Who are those women? That's what I'd like to know. I don't understand this. When I took these yesterday morning, the village was completely empty. I'll ask the old lady. Maybe she can explain it. There's still more. Look at this one. But that's you and me. This is a photograph that worries me so. Sonza! Sonza! You better hurry. We have a serious injury. I know this path. It goes to the clearing. It's best you wait in the Jeep. Here are the keys. I'm going to follow. No, I want to go with you. All right. Let's go. What are we waiting for? We have to leave before it gets dark. That's true. But there simply has to be an explanation. And if there isn't? There has to be. All right. If you believe an explanation exists, look for it. Well, I think I'll go speak with the old lady and the other women. You'll see how it's just an absurd joke. After all, I'm not too worried. I have enough material for a good photographic layout. You'll be all right here, won't you? I'll be back as soon as possible.
Santa! Santa! Let's get out of here. Here's a distributor cat. Mm. Here it is.
I don't remember coming this way. This must be the main road to the highway. We've already come 30 miles. That's another reason why I think we're on the main road. There's nothing to be worried about now. Yes, there is. Fog. Why are you worried about the fog now? It's treacherous when night falls. I can't see the road. We have no other choice but to spend the night around here someplace. It won't be bad in the Jeep. In the Jeep? No. I have a camping tent in back that hasn't even been used yet. I'll have it up in five minutes. Fine. It's all set. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's better this way, no?
Fala! <risos> 